All right, guys. Are you the one we who's are, doing the recording or are we all? I am, I'm the only one doing the recording, and I'm actually recording right now. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, okay, so I don't need to record. That's perfect. No, no, yeah, nobody needs to record. I'm recording. Welcome, everybody. Uh, this is a kind of an impromptu uh, look at our PAX East um, Alpha Zero playthrough that we're offering uh, uh, people who come up to our booth here at PAX East just to kind of show them the state of the game, show them... Um, you know, what we've been working hard on, I am joined in uh, this current play session by Mr. Jeffrey Bard, lead designer Hello, on Ashes. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? It's a pleasure to have you here. I also have with me Mr. Akil Hooper, lead technical designer on Ashes. Howdy, howdy. And I have Mr. Christopher Atkins, our senior character artist on Ashes. Hey, I'm wicked happy to be here. And then I wicked also, happy. <laughs> wicked. Wicked, eh? Oh, he's from Boston. Yeah, we're he's from Boston. He you likes know. to drink coffee and play basketball. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> <That's New Jersey. laughs> oh, <laughs> and then I also have uh, Mr. Peter Pallone, our associate producer on Ashes. How's it going, everybody? So, uh, you know, I know we had a stream a little earlier today, but coming from PAX East, we don't have the absolute best uh, internet connection. I think it's only a dedicated 20 megabit uh, connection, but for some reason it was given a little bit of a of a buffering issue to you guys who are watching. Um, so I promised that we would do a quick recording session for uh, you to see on YouTube um, the quality of the game right now. Uh, we're going to play through this. Oh, I should probably come back there because we got to get a quest, right? Uh, we're going to play through this. And um, uh, Jeff, if you would like to, do you feel up to giving us a little guide through? I mean, we can. I am up to anything. All right. Where are so we hang going? On just a second. Uh, right. I'm I'm missing a skill, so I'm trying to find it. Missing a skill. So by the way, while he's trying to find that, okay, nope. Who who just did that? Uh, I oh that's sorry. That's me because my walking is broken. Nice. So we should stop recording because I need to get out of that. Oh, you press F again to get out of that. Okay. Well, we'll let we'll let Peter. We don't have to stop recording. That's okay. We do things live here. At yeah, Ashes. we like to do it live. Yeah, we, we want show you everything. What's we want all? you to see the the nitty gritty beneath the hood. We are this, unedited. This is literally not live. We are recording. Right, we are this. recording <laughs> the opposite <laughs> side of the oh, opposite side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. It's a live like experience though. Yeah, I'm using a metaphor. Right. I mean, we're, right. we're living it, but I don't <laughs> know if it's live. <laughs> no, the only thing to hit the editing floor is the editor's feet. There you That's go. Right. So what you saw there, potentially, was uh, we haven't implemented horses completely yet. We tried to for this uh, build, but we had some replication errors, and uh, I think Peter jumped into a horse, like literally jumped into it. Uh, there you and go. That's, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Or we could just do, well, hi, hi everyone. Welcome to PAX East with the Apple Experience with uh, <laughs> the creation team here. With the magic of editing <laughs> that we're not going to do. Okay, we don't have an editor on hand, <laughs> so that's why we're not going to edit. All right, and we're back. All right. <laughs> and we're back. All right, All right so <laughs> in this experience, uh, we have actually two experiences baked into this thing. Um, we're going to show you one of them. Uh, we call it the left-hand side. Uh, because we go left outside of the city. But to start it, we talked to archeologist Arwin. Um, he's gonna give us a task to go find a reliquary and bring it back to the city, or, or the village, I guess. Um, so we're gonna right click on him, we're gonna go through some dialogue, and we're going to get a quest. And you know, Jeff, if you want to just introduce the game, I guess, because we may have some first time viewers as well. Yeah, so this is Ashes of Creation. It is an MMO, a massively multiplayer online RPG. Um, and our claim to fame, the thing that really separates us from the rest of the pack, is our uh, ability to claim that we are a living, dynamic world. Um, this village is one small example of that living, dynamic world. Uh, it is a level 3 village. Uh, that means the players have been doing a lot of questing and experiencing here. Um, they've unlocked a bunch of quests, they've unlocked some dungeons, uh, and this quest is one of those things that they unlocked. Um, we're gonna head on out of the Wait, town. Wait, I forgot to get the quest. Wait. Hang on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was listening. <laughs> I was entranced by your description. I forgot my to get the quest. My dulcet tones. My dulcet, ravaged voice tones. You still sound pretty good. <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I got my game face on. I see that you have a keen eye. Ah, oh, we should continue and expand up here. I love this. Jeff, this is a beautiful story. Thank you. I wrote it with care and with love.
I was just making the typical joke about the MMO players and stories. That's oh, all. yes. You were trying to hurt my feelings. I see. Yes. All right. I'm ready. Okay. So we're going to head on out of here. Um, you'll notice that there's a lot of guards around. Um, because it's level three village, um, there's a, a little bit of pushback from the NPCs who belong to that village. Oh, my God. Um, who uh, try to keep this area safe for people who want to travel these roads. The further away we get from this village, the more dangerous it's going to become. And again, because it's a level three village, the encounters out here are a little bit more difficult than what you'd find in a normal level zero wilderness. Our first encounter is going to come up. It's going to give us a little practice. Wait, am I, am I recording? You better. No, be I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am recording. And this is a very experienced party, so we should be able to uh, uh, work our way through these encounters without too much difficulty. That is if everybody helps. We are a party after all. Now, as we progress, we're going to find our first actual real encounter. That first one was just a little taste, a, 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 the chance to get familiar with our control scheme. Uh, this will actually put this party to the test. Let's see what we can do. Thankfully, we have two clerics. Yeah, this is going to be a good run. Yeah, you'll see all sorts of skills being used here in Ashes of Creation. Uh, there's some tab targeting skills, there's some skill shot skills, there's some template skills. Um, our goal is to have players be able to decide how they want to play. If they want a more action-oriented experience, they can kind of spec into that. Um, and up here to the left, we're going to see uh, an abandoned caravan. We've got some of our party members running all over the place. Um, well, I said up and to the left, so I kind of... No, it's, oh, I was it's, just following Peter. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, our lead designer, the absolute be best uh, navigator. I'm, I'm recording. <laughs> He's a bard, not a navigator. That's it's true. true. It's true. I'm actually a cleric right now. Uh, but this is this is evidence of our caravan system. The caravan system is the main way, uh, one of the main drivers of our economy um, in Ashes of Creation. Uh, you have to actually put things at risk uh, in order to gain from it. Uh, but we're going to hold up the party here for just one moment uh, so we can show off some of our environmental interactions. We want the environment to be a uh, character in and of itself. Uh, we don't know which way to go. Our quest is not telling us, hey, there's a waypoint over here. I need to go travel in this direction or that direction. Uh, but the ranger is really good at figuring oh, out where to go. I have a keen eye. They have a keen eye, and they can probably tr find some tracks that will help us decide. How much am I getting paid to find the tracks, though? That's the question. What's that the party distribution? The party You're getting leader. a percentage. Okay, all right, all right. I'll take the percentage. Very well. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and use his utility skill, which is bound to the R key. Ranger. I have found a set of tracks. And they lead towards the cave. This uh, way, colleagues. Unbelievable. You're down what? to 15% party leave. <laughs> what? <laughs> I need at least 20. I have a family at home. I don't know if this cave looks like a good idea. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a good idea. That's where the quest is taking us. Okay. Sure, we could just pack it in right now. And head back. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for joining us on this video. All right, that was solid. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, the quest invites us to keep going down in this cave, but there's a toxic fog that's dealing damage to us. Uh, thankfully, the cleric has a utility skill that can clear this up, uh, which we're going to do right now. I'm dying. I All lost right. too much health. I vote we reduce the cleric's percentage. What do you mean? I'm trying to talk. Look at that. Hit Everyone balanced. It's all great. <laughs> oh my god. Now, if you hadn't brought a cleric with you in this encounter, uh, you'd be taking damage during the whole thing, making it a lot more difficult. We want people to uh, form parties based not just on 
ability to do DPS or tank, but kind of what else they bring to the party as well. Their, their utility skills and other ways of interacting. Parting is taking a lot more damage than uh, most party that I've run through. They, Did you get them? The AI. No, the AI. It's an, it's had a full day to learn. It's a learning machine. You guys should switch into some different weapons. I'm seeing a lot of two-handers here. Where's the orbs at? Where are my orbs at? Oh yeah, let me, hold on, hold on, I'll get an orb going. Oh, oh my god, the was down. Two clerics in the group and I still died. Oh my, I'm not a cleric. Uh, Look to at me. be fair, I'm a DPS player. Alright, there you go, there's your orb, alright, Peter. Uh, and try and bring the tank back, I've died. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Solid recording, gentlemen. It's, it's hardcore, hardcore mode. We are showing our expertise. Uh, most parties had a much smoother run. Than this. Of course, it is the end of a very long, uh, very talky sort of right, day. I'm owning my dude. There's a team effort. No, no, there's a me and team, right? I'm just messing with you. Uh, I couldn't have done it without you, Jeff. It's not like a better better run than this is a high bar at this point, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're heading down into uh, a really dangerous looking area. Our boss is going to come greet us. This is the first boss of the encounter. There is one more hiding away somewhere in the depths. The request is updated to take this guy out, so that's what we're going to do. As the boss gets more difficult, starts doing more damage, uh, the more damage he's taken. Uh, it's important for the whole party to kind of make sure they stay out of harm's way. Thankfully, Saros Hunger has some clear telegraphs uh, that tells us when to move. We'll see if this party can handle it. Guys, I put a trap down over here. If he comes this way, it's gonna get messed up. Ranger doing ranger thing. I also set a tripwire up. You're only level 10, no tripwire hacks. Oh, they okay. that breath? No. But my tripwire only has a bell. It doesn't hurt them, <laughs> it just alerts you us to our presence. Oops, our hunger is still here. Alright. So I was going to go down, he's down to 5%. Was that your passive aggressive way to tell us to pay attention, Peter? No. <laughs> that was my comment on the bell being here. Alright. Now that we've defeated Haro's Sorrow's Hunger, Haro's. Uh, we are to enter the Dwarven Fortress. Uh, this looks really dwarfy and very fortressy to me, uh, so this is probably the direction we gotta go. However, there's a door here, and this door does not open. Uh, maybe the mage can help us out. Um, oh, he's that's got me, hold on. <laughs> he's got a utility skill that will dispel magic uh, and reveal hidden things. Any kind of illusion My or God. magically locked door, they can unlock. Everyone's getting punchy, Jeff. We're all living on halls and Red Bull. That's right. So, so uh, we have halls. Fair, fair disclosure, the catering company that was responsible for the food at the booth did not actually bring food to the booth. So, uh... <laughs> Everybody's here working on fume right now. But you know we made it work. Halls. I had a Twix. Did you have a Twix? I did. Yeah, I had a Snickers. Yeah, Aww. thank you, uh, Mars Mounds. 
The burgers are good. I wish I had a away. Twix. You got a burger? What? I got a burger. Yep, right up there. You cheated. Oh, I pushed ahead of the party. This is not good. Jeff only ate sorrows. Get it? Sorrows hunger? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, I see what you did there. Punny. Alright, we're moving and grooving. Ranger, I need to heal you. Yeah, uh, I pushed ahead a little bit, but I found some enemies, so I scouted for us. Now, no one fall off these uh, platforms, they do not have railings. Uh, oh my god. Chris just jumped off the platform. Why did everybody <laughs> jump off? Why did you, you said, jump off? I didn't you jump just off told you range. not to I jump off! Right don't fall off. I just said just jump the off. railing. That was a so heal, we don't even look alike. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Matt? <laughs> oh, man. Inside joke. What are we gonna do? This is live. <laughs> Oh, and I fall off too. All Did right. you really? Oh, you're the only one who could summon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice. Are you really not going to summon me, Peter? Uh, you, what, you want to be on the first floor with me? Alright. Let's see if I can fix yeah, this. Wait. But your tilt is locked out. How can you fix it? Oh, I can't. I you can't. can't fix you it. literally can't, I can't fix, fix it. it. Wait, yo, you can port to player. Port to player. Okay, good. He's gonna Fog use is some. really nice down here. <laughs> He's gonna use some uh, cheats, some GM cheats, to get to us. All right, no, I think not, I got it. Not everyone. a single player. It's like nothing ever happened. There. We're just gonna edit that out. Nope. Fix it in post. Edit that out. Keep the horse. Fix, fix it. <laughs> keep the horse. <laughs> All right, well done, everybody. We're making our way forward, slowly but surely. And it looks like we're coming up on our second boss. Thanks for the cover tank. There you go, healing Venn diagram engaged. I got a trap down. Did you say aft? Abdomen? <laughs> oh, we got some ads. Yeah, these ads are gonna try to heal her. But we gotta take care of them. No. No, it's healing. Oh, I need some love. I need some love. I'm down. Nice. Oh my god. All right, I think we got this. Heal that ranger. Only if the ranger drops a trap. And she is almost done with.
Ripper out. Our quest oh, updates. Yeah. Now it's time to find the road work. Which is likely behind this door. I couldn't be sure, but maybe the mage can confirm for us. I should just hold out on you, but I'll hit on you. Oh, thanks. Thanks for being a team player. We have found there it is. the relic. That's the reliquary. So now that we've got that, we can take a shortcut home by going through this little teleporter here. Let's sneak back to town and turn our quest in. We catch him up on all of our adventures and he's gonna reward us by completing the quest and thanking us for playing at PAX. Nice. Very fun. Good stuff. Good times, guys. Appreciate cool. playing with you. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this unedited version of a day in the life of a PAX goer for PAX East 2018 at Ashes of Creation's booth. That's not true. You you cut out all of Peter's dirty jokes. No. Any of what? Dirty jokes. This is a lie. Akil is lying. All of those swears. Do man. not listen to this. Jeff in his dirty mouth. <laughs> I don't know why you left in the horse and not. <laughs> oh my wow. god. And with that. And he knows I can't edit this. Thank you, Akil. Oh my god. All right, yeah. guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. You'll see more updates from us. We have a panel tomorrow morning at 1030. Make sure to tune in on our Twitch. If you're not already following us, follow us on our social media. Uh, we look forward to bringing you more updates with the development of Ashes of Creation. We love you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Later. Hey, bye, guys.